Hey everybody, welcome back to the Nexus where we spotlight some of our favorite local businesses. I have the distinct pleasure oh. today to welcome my friend Kat Leverett. She is an amazing woman. She has started a new business and that is Clever Connections. I can't wait for her to tell you about that, but I also just want you all to hear Kat's story. She has just like a wealth of information. Oh. She's an amazing human being, super funny on top of it. So <laughs> you're in for a really great show today. But the reason Kat and I got to meet was here at the Focus That's Suite. Right. So right. I um, can't wait for you to tell the whole story. So I don't want right. to ruin anything. I want it okay. to come from you. So all right, all right. Welcome, Kat. Thanks Thank for you. Today. Oh gosh, Renee is one of my. She's one of my sweet peeps, <laughs> and um, thank you guys for having me very much today. Thank you. Uh, when I yeah. first re met Renee, uh, she didn't know it, but she taught me a lesson the very first time <laughs> that I ever met her. Um, she had come to look at the focus suites where I've been working for the past 10 years, and I gave her my spiel. Remember that day? Yep. I gave yep. you my spiel, and she was listening, listening, and she said, okay, let's do it. <laughs> and she so caught me off guard. You, you totally took me off guard. Yeah. And I thought, oh, man, I, I, yes, let's do it right, right now. Yeah, this was like I know business I have coaching. A, I, ha I have an super ink affordable. pen. I have an ink pen. I, have, <laughs> I think I have some paperwork to fill out. So let, anyway, let me just go. I'm just going to be right back. I'm going to go grab a couple uh -huh. of things. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I think you went to Brooks. Office. I did. And I said, um, <laughs> Renee wants to participate right now. And Brooks said, all right, well, here we go. Yeah. And it was it was the most uh, efficient interview and sale that I'd ever had. But that comes when you have a client that's already done their research. And they're ready to go. Ready Those to go. Those are the best clients. Activators. They girl. know what they want. They're ready to go. They have a reason. They're motivated. Do you find them? How do you find them? Oh my gosh, that is seriously the key to life right now. It and is. they're they're starting to find me, and it's uh -huh. wonderful. This is the most Clever wonderful connections. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about Ooh, right there. Clever. Oh god. Yeah. So it was. It was a really great experience. What I learned by being a client of yours was that one of my top strengths, um, the Focus Suites really focuses on yeah. Clifton Strength Finder, and yep. in my top strengths is activators. So, yeah. of course, I'm just going to be ready to go. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, so if you have activator, warn yeah. people yeah. before they do their sales pitch. <laughs> go ahead and just keep it light. <laughs> yeah, just let's keep it moving. Yeah. I got things to do. That's right. <laughs> That's definitely true. Oh, I thought this was going to be our first session. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. What is this? It's, uh, <laughs> I got 45 minutes yet. <laughs> oh, man. But I learned a lot from you and from Brooke. Oh, um, we I all learn, don't we? Yeah. Together. I love that whole process. Um, not only learning your strengths, but they really, uh, you guys really pushed me to think about, like, who is my audience? Yes. And mm -hmm. what am I selling? And how am I going to make money? That's and right. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was literally just like, I'm starting a company. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Yeah, and you um, brought me down to earth. That's it. And yeah. and when when entrepreneurs are ready, then they're ready. Yeah. And honestly, I've worked with entrepreneurs my whole life. I didn't even realize it. But when I look back at my first jobs that I yeah. had in my life, uh -huh. I worked for a man that opened up a theater in my hometown. Okay. And so that was brand new. We were just learning um, how to sell tickets, and he was trying to make extra money. And uh, we had these great promotions with kids, and we'd have the whole neighborhoods of kids come in and stay all day. But, yeah. you know, he was just trying. He was yeah. trying. What, are, what can I do to yeah. get – People I'm sure through some the of door. those um, creative marketing ideas came from you. You have that uh, type of brain. That was uh, many years ago. But you know what? I did learn the value of just being where you're supposed to be, smiling, um, the w teamwork, mm -hmm. all of that. All yeah. of that is part of business. And um, so then I remember working for a man that 
opened a barbecue restaurant and it was a country decor and he told me to go pick some weeds out of the field for centerpieces. And I remember being so frustrated. Why am, why am I doing this? But then once all these jars full of weeds were on the table, then I could see that it popped up the image. Mm -hmm. I remember him putting uh, chili on the menu and us costing out the chili, mm -hmm. beans, sauce, and then I said, I like cheese on my chili. Yeah. And so we Me costed too. out what a quarter slice of that good old yellow cheese yeah. to put on top of the chili as as a garnish. Uh -huh. And so, you know, I was super young then. Yeah. But I got to see all of this yeah. stuff. And so it's helped me to see life and business through a different perspective. And all of those different interactions that you had throughout your life just weaving together yeah. um, was what made you so perfectly suited for what you've done at, at the college. But yeah. So tell us more about your, a little bit more about your backstory and okay. some of your other jobs that you've had. All so right. we can kind of get the complete picture yeah. of how Clever Connections came yes. to be. Yes. Well, as you guys can probably tell, I have a little bit of a southern drawl. And I'm from Arkansas. Uh, in Arkansas, I had been uh, just at the right place at the right time and was hired by a man, a pharmacist businessman, mm -hmm. who wanted to own multiple stores. And so he was purchasing franchises. And when I started working for him, he only had one, one franchise. And he gave me that one old special brick promise, and one yep. brick and mortar. You know, if you'll come to work for me for cheap as I grow, then you'll grow too. And I may so, or may not have uh, made a promise yeah. or two like that. <laughs> yeah, I may or may not have <laughs> accepted a promise like that. And my one question was, um, can I leave at three? Because I wanted to pick my kids up from school. Oh, yeah. Okay, so... Um, we both had our goals that we had to meet, and I was working cheap. He was p letting people off at three. So um, I started working part-time with just the one brick-and-mortar store. Um, because it was a franchise, then there were franchise manuals and uh, very strict brand guidelines to yeah. go by. And I had never worked in that environment at all. Um, but there were three great big notebooks, and he came and put them on my desk, and he said, this is how you market the medicine shop pharmacy. Mm -hmm. And so I shut my door, and I read all of those notebooks. And at the end, I, I still kept feeling, I don't know, I don't know what to do. I, well, one of the things that... Um, in their marketing plan and in their marketing image was they did uh, free health care screenings. Okay. And so what we were supposed to do in the pharmacy was to call dentists, podiatrists, um, other professionals, and ask for them to come to our store for free. And I felt super intimidated yeah. to call a doctor's office and say, will you come to my store and look at my clients for free. Well, what I didn't comprehend was I might be having 200 people in my store a day, and it was a retail store. Mm -hmm. Well, a podiatrist doesn't have the opportunity to have 200 people walking by him in a four-hour segment of time. Mm -hmm. So I began to learn that win-win concept of marketing, yeah. how, and they were delighted these offices I were like delighted. You. I would have felt So bad. I was so nervous. I shut my door, and there was a script for us to use. Mm -hmm. And I would call, and I would just go right by the script that was recommended. Mm -hmm. And I started getting people to come once a month to do health screenings. And so that was a huge learning opportunity for me to understand that all professionals need marketing yeah and if you, you were can helping them connect that's at right the time. and yeah. so um 
I worked for them for 11 years. In that time frame, we opened either brand new or converted mm -hmm. from another pharmacy. Um, we converted nine pharmacies to medicine shops. So um, at one point, I was the president of the marketing co-op for the state. So I had about 25 pharmacies that were trusting me to manage some money that we would add local marketing when our franchise group did national marketing. Mm -hmm. So we would have two weeks of national marketing uh, television ads, and oh, then cool. all of us in the state got together and put money every month. So when we had these big quarterly promotions nationally, then they would pay for two weeks, and then we had the money locally to buy right. advertising. So I learned then yeah. that was that on radio or TV? TV. Okay. Uh-huh. That's Excuse cool. Excuse me. You've seen the gamut of marketing so from we did that billboards. Point on. Yeah. I was responsible for for all the marketing and promotions for 11 stores at the end. Uh, then I went to work for our pharmaceutical wholesaler for a year and a half, and I was responsible for making sure that they got their product. But I got to be involved with over 35 business owners, pharmacists. Okay. And so pharmacists are scientists. Yeah. Um, they're not really comfortable saying, how about a free bag of goodies today because you came in? How would you like to get your feet looked at? Well, to <laughs> me, you know, I was like, hello, y'all. We're having a free foot check today. <laughs> And then I started. How do you say no? To yeah, that? really <laughs> seriously. <laughs> and in a pharmacy, trust me, there's yeah. many people that have feet issues <laughs> that they'd like to have someone look at for free. <laughs> then I started going to uh, senior centers every month, mm -hmm. and I would take these big giant cakes, and <laughs> oh I walked God, in. That's I, I walked in every month and said, "Whoever birthday it is this month," said. Here you go. Then we'd have a drawing for a big bag of Tums and and oh, wow. uh, Vicks Vapor <laughs> Rub. <laughs> so you know nobody wants you to. Knew the key to nobody their wants to go to the pharmacy, do they? I no. mean, you got to have some cake or something there. So anyway, I really feel like I learned marketing from an international franchise yeah. corporation. And so and you got to learn like the mindset of 35 oh, yes, different business owners absolutely. and like their struggles. Yes, ma'am. Basically be their counselor, I'm sure. Yes, yes. Which you've been my counselor yeah. many, many times. Yeah. I mean, yes. I'm telling you, it's not easy when you start a business. And no, it isn't. You need somebody to just go say, this sucks. You just need to have Wh someone to What do I do now? To. That's right. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a serious. Yeah. It's yeah. very serious. People yeah. have their life savings on the line. They yeah. have their family's future on the line. It's um, <clears throat> it's a serious endeavor. Yeah. And so after um, I had learned so much about pharmacy and marketing, and I wanted to know if everything that I had learned in that franchise model, mm -hmm. if that would spread across different industries. Yeah. And that was my question. And then I got the opportunity to come to Lincoln when my daughter and son-in-law decided to go back to college. So they were going back to college. They had three kids at the time. Mm -hmm. um, and my daughter asked me if I wanted to move up here and go to college with them. <laughs> and, uh, which seems crazy, but not if you know. Which seems crazy. Because you're a learner. But you I love to learn. I, I was really, I mean, I was a professional sales car driver. Um, I was supposed to be on the road uh, about 60 hours a week. So after the Hampton Inn, you know, starts to feel like you're home, yeah. then it, it changes you. And so I was really tired of being on the road. Um, Medicare D had happened in pharmacy, which was a huge yeah. explosion, which is a long, boring story. Somebody can hear one night. <laughs> <laughs> we have in nothing better. Than, yeah, in the cat <laughs> cave. <laughs> and so um, 
I thought this is a great opportunity and um, really uh, the greatest opportunity was to get to come up here and be a grandma full time. So oh. I decided to move to Lincoln from Arkansas. Everything was was under control with my family there. And so we moved, I moved up here. I moved in with my daughter and son-in-law and we went to school. We went to school all you three of us. You and your daughter yeah. and your son-in-law? And my son-in-law. All went to school at the same time yeah. at Southeast Community at College. At Southeast, then at yep. Wesleyan, then at the university, then I went to Doan. And so, oh, my goodness. Yeah, so we had a whole lot of studying going on. Yeah. And um, and what were you studying? At I was studying business. Okay. And then um, I took as many business classes uh, as I could. Then I realized that I did not want to be challenged by college algebra. And so uh, I decided to go the, tra <laughs> <laughs> the transfer route and switched over to some artistic things, which are right oh, up my alley yeah. too, and got my associate's degree. So all of our family, um, we got three degrees in five years. That's amazing. And really changed our family's trajectory. Um, my mom, I uh, didn't finish high school. There were seven in her family, and only one child finished high school. Oh, wow. So for us, this is just the education piece. You were first huge. generation college uh -huh. grad. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. And so um, after school, I fell in love with Southeast so much, and I knew right at the beginning when I came mm -hmm. that there was an entrepreneurship program here, and I met with the director, Tim Matan. And I told him I was coming to start for school and that when I got finished, then I wanted to, to work there, work here. And he said, okay, well, come see me when you're, when yeah. you're graduated. He said, one of these days, I'd love to have someone to do marketing for the center, but we don't have a position or we don't have any money. Um, but the day that I went to sign my graduating papers, uh -huh. There was a job listing for oh administrative assistant for the entrepreneurship center. That is so. So I just stepped. It's just I the universe. Just, it was. Coming I just together. I just stepped right into it. Yeah. I um, have just and retired. you rebranded it. Just, yes, it I was. helped Brooke. Yep. Mm -hmm. The entrepreneurship center. We had the third floor, which we call the incubator. Yep. Um, and now it's called Focus Suites. Yep. Uh, we work uh, probably. I guess it's been three years ago to do the yeah. rebranding. Yeah. Um, and now she calls everyone her sweet peeps. Now they're my <laughs> sweet peeps. And we do have a very uh, crazy part of our culture where everything, if it's sweet, it's it's not spelled with a W. No. No. We have sweet mates. We have sweet <laughs> times. We have sweet parties. <laughs> And this is a sweet There's business that I'm fixing to start. Yeah, everything's a play <laughs> on words with it you. Is. She just informed me that Clever Connections is C. Leverett. That's right. Clever. Duh. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I could not put that two and two together. It's like I could see there was you something going on. You can see it. On, yeah, you can. It was really like, yeah. I just, I didn't like immediately see right. it. So I love that it's just yeah. a little bit C. of a. C. Leverett. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's a hidden message. It is a hidden message. Mm -hmm. And really, connections, gosh, haven't we learned in the last two years how important our connections are? So important. And when I was boiling down um, what I really wanted to call myself and what I want to do, what I want to do is make connections, and yeah. I want to help people make connections. So. Yeah. You're so good at it. I I yeah. love people. I connect yeah. with people. Um, one of my strengths, Clifton's strengths, is connectedness. And so for me, life feels a little bit like a dot-to-dot -dot puzzle. And mm -hmm. so when someone talks to me about a need they have or a service they have, then my dot-to-dot -dot puzzle starts to light up. Mm -hmm. And I think, oh, you should talk to this person. Yeah oh, gosh, you work perfectly with this person. So that'll be a big part of what I'm doing as mm -hmm. a consultant. 
um, I think I'm an old school networker, you know, where you meet people and then you go, oh, gosh, talk to this person, talk to this person. Yeah. And so that's what I'll be doing. I'll also be doing um, as Clever Connections. I'll be here at Southeast Community College as the entrepreneur in residence. And what that means for me is that everyone that's in the suites currently, I'll have an or open door policy with you guys. So I'm what, eternally grateful yes. to have you back at oh, the suites. Gosh. I miss you dearly. Well, I'm, I, miss you I so much. can't wait to get caught up yes. with everyone. Yes. Uh, and then my goal is to create a stronger alumni group. Awesome. We all still connect and and randomly get together, but I think we have a power now yeah. because we have 15 years of alumni. There's some great success stories there that have come so out of the There are so many suite. fabulous success stories. And there's a lot us younger entrepreneurs can learn from those yes. seasoned entrepreneurs. Right. And so for me to try to collect everyone yeah. and you know, it's a little bit like getting your peaks in order. If you're a mama hen, <laughs> <laughs> let's try to all get together. Yeah. So you'll be seeing some invitations coming out. That's and so exciting. I'm pretty, I'm pretty stoked about getting to see everybody and getting reconnected. Yeah. So who is going to be like your ideal client going forward? My ideal client will be someone who understands the concept of a marketing budget. Same. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the club. <laughs> because when I was trained to do marketing, uh, I wasn't the business owner. I just thought every business owner knew what a marketing budget was. Yeah. But that was something I learned in college is that a lot of people do not know yeah. what that is. Mm -hmm. So um, what would you say is an adequate marketing budget? Oh, gosh. Well, that will be dependent on your revenue mm -hmm. and then dependent like on a percentage of yeah. revenue. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. kind of that's where we're at. With yeah. It. Mm -hmm. yep. When when we were in the pharmacies and, you know, I, I know that I refer back to pharmacy. A lot of people who know me understand that. But because I was trained in that franchise model, then they said 1% of your gross income should be for marketing. And that was at um, that was a, a long way time ago. larger mm -hmm. revenue level yes, than yes. like a brand new right, entrepreneur. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. um, uh -huh. Probably the, the smaller and mm -hmm. littler you are, mm -hmm. the the bigger the percentage. I had, yeah, so. I had at one time, one of my stores had $900 a month. That was their budget. Then I had a store that was, you know, doing well, $3,000 a month. Yeah. So that's just depends on, on right. where you are and what you want to achieve. Yep. Who you want to reach. Um, you know, and a budget, it doesn't have to be a certain amount, but if you just say, okay, we've got this much for maybe a marketing push, yeah. a project, or just, you know, a special event. Mm -hmm. And those are the kind of things I'm going to try to help people with. That's so exciting. Yeah. You're such a great resource to people. Oh, the Focus Suites you. in general is a great resource. It is. Um, and Kat really does know, like, everyone in this town. So if you're, you know, just have any questions about – yeah. Starting your business or maybe your established business and you're like mm -hmm. feeling like you need to level up, but you're not really yeah, sure how to get absolutely. there. Absolutely. If yeah. you feel stagnant, for sure. Yeah. Um, I really believe in creativity. I think creativity is the soul of entrepreneurship. I'm a creative at the heart of yeah. who I am. Um, you know, sometimes you need to sing and dance and color a little bit. And it does a wonders for your ability to face the next day. Yeah. Well, um, everyone should follow Kat on social media. Yep. She does post some of her art, which is just phenomenal. It's beautiful. Oh, thank and you. you always have uplifting, funny things as well. So definitely check her out on social. Yeah. Um, and then we would be remiss if we did not mention mm -hmm. how I found one of my most creative employees, Taylor. Oh. Mm -hmm. Taylor Tunison is you know you know him well he sometimes sits in the seat and that's right does the hosting mm -hmm. and 
He is Kat's grandson. He is my grandson. I'm so grateful for you my very to first. introduce me to Taylor. He's been such a great addition to True North, and mm, we I'm glad. I don't to know what we would it. do without him. So well, <laughs> I tell you, uh, we in our family. We have a helping hand attitude and a team attitude. And so I'm super glad to know he's working with you guys. Yeah. Yep. He's yeah. got the right mindset. Mm -hmm. And he's also working for not a lot of dollars <laughs> with the potential of making more dollars. That excitement. <laughs> that excitement to see things yeah. grow. It's in the blood. <laughs> yep. I think that's, I think that's oh, where he gets it. That's so good. I'm really grateful for that. So. What are your final thoughts? Any closing sentiments for um, all of my Nexus viewers? Well, I want you guys to just hit me up on Facebook, and then that'll be good. I'm going to be shooting out my email, and I'm just like all business owners that just start, you know, I'm like, okay, my business cards are coming. Uh -huh. um, everything is coming. And but I just couldn't wait to let everybody know. And um, so the cat's clever out of the bag. The cat's out of the bag. <laughs> clever connections on Facebook. Let's talk. I want to talk to people. <laughs> yeah, I, she she will literally die if she's not talking to yeah. people. So hit her up. She means it. Clever and connections on Facebook. <laughs> Thank you so much for You're coming welcome. in today, Cat. I absolutely adore you. Appreciate mm. you. So glad I get to go walking in your door. Yes. Mm. Have those tissues ready. Yeah. <laughs> We're ready to go for you, girl. They don't happen as much anymore. I just, no. It, it gets better. It gets better. <laughs> yes, it does. Mm -hmm. Anyways, thank you again thank for coming you. in. Thanks, Nexus viewers, for tuning in. And we'll see you guys in a couple weeks. Call me.